This is a 1992 Dodge W250. Some of y'all may know what that means. And uh, that's all I really want to tell you right now. I got some plans for it, but for right now, I'm going to be using it to tow all my junk to my new house. Super excited about this first gen Cummins. I've always thought they were cool. Very basic mechanical truck that is known for being reliable. Uh, this was my boss's and he was daily driving it and decided he didn't need quite this big of a truck anymore. And now he's got a Tacoma. It's four wheel drive and it's a five speed manual. Very excited about that. And when I finish my 6.7 power stroke swap with the old Ford body on it, I've got a second old Ford body I'd like to put on this frame. Here's another look at my 1967 Crew Cab F250. If you're new to the channel, I'm chopping this thing all up and putting it on my 2016 6.7 Power Stroke chassis and using that interior and everything. Total resto mob. Super excited about it. I need the wide lens for this one. Just stopped to check my load. Got the 92-12 valve pulling its new body to my new house. It's going to be a long time before I get to this swap, uh, but for now I got a nice old work truck to pull things back and forth to get powder coated, uh, sandblasted, all that fun stuff. So pretty excited about it. I got Joe's trailer out here again. I was hoping to not have to use his anymore and get my own, uh, but this is where we're at right now. Thanks a lot, Joe. I'll get something of my own eventually. Crew cab long bed and the extended cab long bed are taking up the whole freaking road right now. I got the wide angle lens and it's a freaking road train for sure. I got a long drive ahead of me to the new house. Hopefully we make it. Just fueled up at Bucky's. I think it's starting to rain, so I'm gonna slowly make my way in the dark. This old school 90s technology and headlights, but ain't this just a setup right here? I just had a guy from a diesel shop come over to talk to me about it and uh she's gonna be something else when it's done that's for sure such a long truck and honestly this old 71 manual drives about like this 92 i mean they're both freaking built like tanks and ride rough stages and there's some hippie fest going on at this park you got me back here in the woods we're back at bucky's with an empty trailer just put about a thousand miles on this rig within 24 hours of owning it and uh so far i'm pretty impressed as long as i make it home i'll be a happy camper she pulls like a freight train, um, doesn't have cruise control, so that's kind of annoying. And uh, a couple other little things kind of finicky about it, but you know, she gets the job done. And uh, it's been fun driving this manual the whole way here. Just bought this thing and I've already put it to work a few times. It's time to do some more work. I'm picking up a car haul or trailer for it. And check this thing out. This is a 77, I want to say. 
Dodge D250, uh, which would have been two-wheel drive, but it has been converted to four-wheel drive at some point. Really cool old truck. Apparently, he gets all kinds of questions about this thing. I saw it in the background when I was talking to him about the trailer, and I loved it. This thing is so cool. But what's crazy to me is this 1970-something Dodge looks a heck of a lot like that 1992. They really didn't change them much, and I think that's pretty cool. But uh, check out these cab lights. Freaking little laser beam looking things. It's pretty crusty in here, but not a ton difference over, you know, 20 some years. They didn't change them much. Obviously this one wasn't a diesel uh, back then. Probably had a big V8 in it, or you never know, it could have been a straight six. I'll have to ask him about that, but cool truck. But yeah, let's get this thing to work and we'll uh, test out the new trailer. Here's a first look at my new purchase. I've been borrowing trailers till I'm blue in the face. Sorry, Joe, for all the wear and tear on yours, but this is a 10,000 pound rated trailer. It's got two 5,200 pound axles. Uh, they're just uh, six lug axles, I believe. They're nothing super crazy. Uh, it's got a six inch channel frame, a little bit beefier than your standard car hauler. Uh, but yeah, 20 foot deck with a dovetail. I think it's 20 foot total, so 18 plus two and uh 82 inches between the fenders i think it's i can't remember how many thousand pound jack it is it's a beefier one maybe eight thousand six thousand something like that and it's got the bigger uh two and five sixteenths i forget what he called this type of tongue here but it's pretty sweet little setup seems pretty beefy we'll try her out it's the cheapest guy around right now it is a tough time to buy anything the way prices of wood is I got $20 of wood right here that came with it for me to put under it when I drop it off. Made it home with this big sucker. Pretty excited about it. Nice uh, LED lights. Pretty big deck. Hopefully it's wide enough in between the fenders for my 38s to fit on here. It's going to be tight. I might have to take one of my, my tires off, but still got stickers on the tires nice new pins and everything got tags on it brand new trailer never had a brand new trailer before never really even had a trailer uh, besides a boat trailer so pretty excited about her got plenty of room on here hopefully I can get all my crap to the new house super stoked on this thing Alright guys, I've been trying to get this video to y'all for a while and I've been trying to wrap it up, um, but I've been so busy. I'm now uh, at the beach right by my new house. I haven't really had a good chance to get by the trucks and kind of explain how the trip went. So y'all stay tuned. I got a lot of clips of uh, the trips and you know the, the uh, misfortunes we had getting over here, but uh, I'm here. I'm safe. Everything's good. I wanted to give y'all an update and kind of explain why I bought this Dodge. Most of y'all diesel you know truck enthusiasts or just truck guys in general uh, know what a 12 valve Cummins you know is from its reputation very reliable truck and uh, I'm very excited about mine um, but me being a Ford guy it might be a little off base um, so just to kind of reiterate so my original plan was to drive my 6.7 power stroke with the 1967 body on it already mostly done you know still needing paint and a lot of body work to my new house but uh, with my wife being pregnant with a little girl. I mentioned that a few videos back. Super excited about that. Uh, we wanted to go ahead and move early, get settled, come hang out at the beach, you know, for her last few months of pregnancy. So I had to figure out a way to get all my trucks to the new house, and that's why I bought that Dodge. And I may change my mind, but as of now, I might as well just hold on to it and then put my second crew cab bump side forward body on it. which is a very common swap. And I honestly would have done that uh, as my first choice 
had it not been so common. Um, you can find a ton of videos and people that have done 12 valve Cummins into old Ford trucks. Um, but I think I'm going to do that as my workhorse kind of to pull my flashy show rig around, which will have the 6.7 power stroke. We'll see if that, you know, plan changes. But as of right now, I've got a solid work truck that I plan on using as a second donor vehicle for my second old Ford crew cab. So I should have two four x four diesels that are gonna be one a manual and one automatic, one a little bit more old school and original crew cab dimensions uh, with a longer bed. And then the other one obviously being my 6.7 that will have the stretch cab, the new uh, black leather interior, and a few other awesome modifications that are coming to y'all soon. So y'all stay tuned. The Bronco has made some awesome progress. Be on the lookout for the videos of that. And uh, be sure to subscribe and come back to the channel. Thanks so much for watching.